Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how do we create experience fragment. So let's first understand what is experience fragment. So in AEM terminology, which is Adobe Experience Manager, experience is equal to page, Adobe Page Manager. So we have our website, we have so many pages, etc. We want to manage it. And for that, we have Adobe Experience Manager. Experience is equal to page. Now experience fragment is page fragment. Fragment is nothing but a piece, a part of the whole thing, right? Tukda in Hindi, yeah. So it means a part or piece of a page. So why do we need a part of a page? Because maybe there is, we can, so, so that we can reuse it at multiple pages. So for example, we have header, we have footer, or maybe we have some profile information. May, we are dis displaying the same information again and again on different pages. So why do we configure the same thing again and again? We'll create one experience fragment and we'll just use it on multiple pages. So that is the whole concept behind experience fragment. So just consider it's like a page only, but it's a small, I mean part of page, a small page. Okay. So here also the concept will be same. We'll have a template. On template, will uh, you will use a template to create experience fragment, and then on experience fragment, we can con uh, configure components, experience experience fragment as well, <coughs> and then we can just configure this experience fragment. Once the experience fragment is ready, we can use it on multiple pages. Let's see how do we do it. So I have just logged in. I'll click on experience fragment, and uh, I'll just I have already installed the weekend site fragment one um, and it is basically we have few fragments already created but if you want to create a new experience fragment it's a simple way you just click on create experience fragment it will ask uh, this is the default template given on the weekend sample project we can create our own template is, as well but it's not needed because anyways what we want is a simple page layout uh, where we can configure any component so we can reuse it. So click on this and click on next. Give some name to it. So maybe I can say this is my, okay, I just created with demo. I'll say demo 2. And here also we can specify tags, etc. Create. Hello, open it. And uh, what we will notice here, it's an empty page which we are going to configure on multiple which is everything is same we can drag component here there are so many components listed even if there is there are any there is an experience fragment so experience fragment can be included in experience fragment like i said okay so we can configure anything so for example we could drag drop image component then uh, we configure image component and then from my this left I'll drop image to it. It's just, it's just like simply how do we want to configure it or maybe some components because I want to create maybe a header component. Okay, I'll just open a, an existing one so that uh, I can show. So for example, these are the existing components and I'll just use this one maybe. So on the left side we have uh, the references available. I can see this experience fragment. And if you see here, the template is experience fragment template only. Okay, usage is R7. It means the same experience fragment is used seven times on seven pages, different pages. So that is the whole purpose behind using experience fragment. So um, I, I can just click on the references. I can navigate to this page and let me also open I'll just open this page. Let me edit it so that we can see what is inside this experience fragment. Must be some profile. <clears throat> yeah, it's an image of a person and, and some profile information of that person. I'll just open another page also. So I have this page, Arctic Surfing.html, and I have this page which is about test.html. Both are different pages. And on both pages, we should have this profile. Jacob is here as well as Jacob is must be here somewhere. Yeah, it's here. So, I mean, we just created one and we are using multiple uh, places. Another thing to notice here is 
within experience fragment we can create variations variations means so for example uh, at one time i need maybe uh, the profile image uh, the title uh, the role etc but in the another one maybe the image is small or something else i mean we need difference yeah here the uh, image is small it's um, <clears throat> not top bottom but left and right hand side aligned so th this variation is changed with this variation right i mean here we have a bigger image as well as the title and the role is below the image so you want to create our own variation just click on create variation and we need to give the template we have just one template so just select this template title so i'll say new variation for j a c o b uh, some name to it we can give so i'll just copy paste the same thing again uh, anything else description etc tags we can give and that's it it's empty and uh, we can configure whatever we want so for example here i'll just check if we can copy i'll just check from here i have never tried like within variation we can copy or not sometimes it takes time to load just to refresh this page I'll go to the new one. Little bit slow. <coughs> I'll see that even that paste option is coming, but it's little bit flickering and what I want to do is I want to uh, configure this because I want to do some changes to it so this is my yeah so I'll just mention it's my test variation <coughs> Done. so I okay I said what it says something is important which is not giving alternate text for okay so I'll just mention test okay and uh, so I have created third variation which is I have just included a test now let's go back to our pages where we have this now one here if we configure this first we need to break the inheritance I have created another video for it if you want to configure any of the component which is inherited first we need to break the inheritance if we want to change something to live copies and then we need to configure this and if we see here we are using this byline variation okay here we are using byline variation and here if we see again we need to break the inheritance yes <coughs> here we are using the master variation what variation I want to use now instead of byline I have created the third one which is new variation I'll just select it done and the new variation is popping here uh, I just included that test thing here okay so uh, overall the concept behind experience fragment is uh, the summary is uh, we can create at once it's a piece of paper piece of page we can create once we can use it multiple times on multiple pages any component can be included on um, on experience fragment i mean it can be configured experience fragment can also contain experience fragment we can create multiple variations of experience fragment and on different pages we can decide which variation we want to include on that page okay and uh, experience fragment is also used uh, when we want to serve our content as a as a content as a service so that is also a use case where we use experience fragment okay stay connected thank you so much for watching